be dead. Oh, that was in the Mustang? That was in that white, the white junk. That was in the white BMW. They up, I mean, so many motherfucking shots in the cookie shop, y'all. Motherfucker, come out, sell me. I want to know who he is, though. Yeah, I was trying to see who he is, too. They let so many shots out, though. But the nigga right here, man, he was, man, letting that motherfucker Drake go loose. Yeah, he was trying to hit some shit, but... I would have been running down the street behind that ass with that motherfucker. Nah, look, look, look. He's so bugging right now. Why they handcuffing him, though? I don't know. Cause he won't, he won't leave. Dark skinned dread head guy, cool. Everybody say was dogs. Yeah, cameras. Uh, so yeah. shit, his bodyguard, or whatever. So, so they were right here on the line. We yeah. hear footage saying that uh, Man, the guy was inside the, the cookie shop with Dolph. Oh, but he's the, but he didn't get hit, right? We also hear these witnesses saying that they seen that guy shooting at the suspects as they fled away. But we also seen a, a photo of how close he was actually to the white Benz. Meaning, if you was really shooting how you said you were shooting, why is this Benz don't got no bullet bullet holes? Because if you shooting a Draco at a big object such as a car, you could easily hit that car, right? So my thing is, is the guy that posted been the security guard, is he in on it? Because if you pay close attention to what's going on here, um, it would make more sense if the guy that was with Dolph was actually a part of the setup. Because if he's inside a cookie store with Dolph, he can control um, how long Dolph stays in there. You know what I'm saying? Because otherwise, everything would have to be coincidental and the timing would have to be perfect. But if he's in on it, then he could easily manipulate the time. Meaning, if Dolph already done order his cookie, but the shooters haven't arrived yet, the guy with him can easily be like, oh, yeah, hold on, Dolph, let me make me an order too to prolong and get these guys long enough time to get there, right? But that's all speculation right there. That's me just going off assumptions, right? But at the same time, it makes sense. Because it seemed like if he's shooting this Draco, obviously he didn't do a good job of one, protecting Dolph. Of two, he didn't hit nothing. Right? right. So either he's a sorry security guard or he's scared or he in on it. It's one of those three. Right? But my thing is this. Okay, so you looking at the window. This window pane is just this one small frame. It's the only one shout out. So according to all the witnesses, they say two guys were shooting in, shooting from outside, shooting inside, and killed Dolph, right? They also say Dolph shot. That's three people. They also said the guy that went Dolph shot. That's four people. So you got four people shooting, but it's only one window pane busted out. And it's very, very close to the ground. So it seemed like everybody's shooting down towards, like, the leg area. Not unless Dolph was already laying down when they started shooting. If you look close to this window, you can see Dolph arm hanging out the window. Then if you look a little closer to the other window that's not uh, busted out, it seems like it's a red splatter on that window as if it's blood on that window. Right? But it's opposite from which Dolph is laying down. So, it, this would be all theory, but it seemed like 
it's very probable that Dolph got shot inside of the cookie shop. And then these guys pulled up in this white bins and started shooting down to the ground because Dolph was already on the ground. Because if you got two guys come in and they both are shooting at this window, believe me, it's going to be more than one window pane broke out. Do you understand where I'm going with this? It really seems like Dolph was already down when them guys arrived. Then it was easy for them to just start shooting Dolph while he laid on the ground. I want to know what that first initial shot was. That's why I feel like the blood spatter that's on this secondary window that's not busted out. That blood spatter come from the first initial shot. When he was shot inside the cookie store, then he falls. Okay, but that could be all speculation. That could be all theory. I'm not saying I'm a forensic or crime scene investigator. I'm just going off of logic by what I'm seeing, what I'm looking at, right? Also, what I want y'all to pay attention to is the glass that's on the ground. If these shots coming from outside the cookie shop, why is the glass on the outside of the, the shop? The glass should be on the inside. If they shoot from outside in, then the glass should be on the inside of the store, not on the outside. The glass on the outside of the store would lead me to believe that you had shots coming from inside the store. But I could be wrong. I don't know, but it's just a lot of moving parts that don't really make a lot of sense to me. Okay, so what's this guy with, Dolph? Meaning, was he in the same car? People say he was in a separate car. So, okay, so what car was he in? And who is this guy? People say, oh, that's his brother. Okay, what's his name? They took him downtown. What happened after that? After they took him downtown? Did they release him? Did they charge him with anything? What's, what's going on with him? You know, nobody seems to know nothing. But it really seemed like this was an inside job. That Makita's cookie they was in on because another thing in this video I want you to pay attention to is Maurice Hill. When he's arrived, he's showing the police what's going on. Then he's walking. He's on his phone texting somebody. I guess he's texting his daughter, letting him, her know what's going on because that's what the daughter said that Maurice texts her, right? But you look at his clothes on this video. His clothes, he got these light blue jeans, not a stain on them. But he told people that he was right there with Dolph telling Dolph to stay with him as if he's right there trying to um, keep Dolph alive. Like you up close on him, you know what I'm saying? Close enough to have maybe blood on, on your pants. But that was not the case. So it's a lot of inaccuracies with these witness statements as well as this video footage that we seeing. And then you got certain people who was witness the day of but none of them want to help the police at all with trying to figure out who did it. <clears throat> Maybe, you know, people don't want to be a part of stuff like that. And I get it. I understand. But in the end, it's still a lot of inaccuracies in this situation. So y'all let me know what y'all think about the situation. And what do y'all think about this guy with the dread that posted been Young Dolph Security, his home, or whoever he was? What do y'all think about him and the role that he played? I'm Sporty Black. I'm signing off. If you're new to the channel, hit that sub button. I'm gone.